Welcome to another episode of Solitaire Quest. <sighs> Got my coconut pineapple drink here. Be a good mix. I don't drink, but it probably this would probably be a good mix for some vodka or something like that. Mm. So yeah, this is the Star Trek Picard review of the episode Absolute Candor. Or Candor. I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Blood Afghanistan. I need to stretch out my legs for a moment. Stretch out my legs. Hmm. Ah, good stuff. So yeah, the Blood Knight of the Old. Re I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Blood Afghanistan. Like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, absolute candor. We got a previously on STP, who fucking cares? And then we got, yeah, the Star STD shuttle asset reused multiple times in orbit and on the planet. Vashti. Which, yeah, the so Vashti sounds like... Uh, sounds like something Jewish, something Jew, something a J person who's Jewish would, would say. It's like, we're going to wash the, we're going to wash these clothing, we're going to wash the clothing, we're going to wash the clothing. Oh yeah. And we got the card in the uniform, no, 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 no. The card not in the uniform. And he looks like uh, some rich guy. God, you know the guy in Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade? Oh. He was uh, dressed in all white. And I think I think it was Dr. Marcus. Yeah, Dr. Marcus. Picard looks like he's dressed like Doc like Dr. Marcus in the uh, Indiana Jones The Last Crusade. And yeah. We got the one woman says, yeah, promises are prisons. Because uh yeah. Oh, uh, uh, that's an interesting message to portray, put out there. Uh, it's an interesting message to put out there, Alex Kurtzman. We were promised, uh, hmm, we were promised, uh, something that, uh, looks like the next generation, but, no, didn't get, didn't get that. Didn't get that whatsoever. Just start playing some solitaire here. So, yeah. And, yeah, why did uh, the little kid there, uh, li little Rami Legolas, wh why didn't, uh, Picard adopt the kid and send him to live with him with the couple that is living with him at the chateau. Why, why, why didn't he do that? And yeah, this is uh, 
directed by Jonathan Franks. I guess he needs a paycheck, you know. Good that he's getting work. And yeah, the blonde woman. Yeah, the blonde woman looks is a fucking annoying. Fucking annoys Rios. And yeah, wrote down, yeah, the existential pain of watching this show. Yeah. So yeah, they're looking for Dodge's sister. So there's urgency to find her. So uh, why are they fucking taking a detour? And yeah, Vashti is uh, in the Delta, it's in the Beta Quadrant. And yeah, we got warrior nuns that are the enemies of the Tal Shi'ar. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Uh, the Romulan secret police? They're enemies of the Romulan secret police? Are, are we, uh, these, these women, these bitches should be ghosts. They should be dead and ghosts. They should be fucking ghosts. Why is, go, why is Picard going to a planet to see some fucking ghosts? Because if you're on, I would think that if you're on the Tal Shiar shit list, I would, I would assume that your days would be absolutely numbered, and that you would be, de you'd, you'd be dead, or you'd at least want to get out of Romulan space, you know, get the, get the fuck out of there, go, maybe seek asylum, or something, or not, or not be literally something that stands against the, there's not, there's an enemy of the Tal Shiar. In the way of absolute candor. Fuck off. And yeah, I wrote down my notebook. Yeah, why why are these nuns not killed by the Tal Shiar? And yeah. Picard going to Vashti. We got, yeah, the Picard Apology Tour. Get your tickets now. Get your tickets now. Tickets are flying out, flying out of Ticketmaster, you know what I'm saying? Go get your tickets now. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna be left out. And yeah, we got like a planetary sentry drone force, which does it look like an is it an energy shield or is it a planetary defense thing? Um, okay. And yeah, we got this line here: immediate kill fire. Or, yeah, so, so, yeah, that's just, yeah, and yeah, Picard is just able to beam past all that, just beam down to the surface. And we got a Romulan's only bar and restaurant. Yeah, and we got Rami, Rami Legolas. Oh, one good oh, Rami Legolas. God, I want I want to get a plushie of him so I can put right next to my Elsa doll. Fuck. And yeah, we got the Borg cube scene. Fast forward that. But no, I fast forwarded it just enough. But then I, yeah, I heard, I heard, yeah, they talked about a talk show called Yerner, Yerner. Yerner. And yeah, Picard is popular on Romulan social media networks. And there are humans and Romulans on this planet. The, the, so, oh, why are there ro humans and Romulans on this planet? Uh, isn't this planet supposed to be where they're all regrouping and all that shit? And then, yeah, we got the Romulan nun. She says, yeah, Romulagulus is a skilled fighter. 
but in the past fast ever, and well, yeah, no doubt. No doubt she is your best student. He has upper body strength. Of course he's gonna be your best student. He he, he has he has superior upper body strength. Yeah. Oh, what other gems do we have? We got Romulans with rapiers. R Romulans with rapiers. Why? And yeah, we got the senator guy blames Picard for everything. Oh, we got this line. Choose to live. Yeah. <laughs> Nice badass line, too bad, terrible show. And yeah, why doesn't Rami Legolas have a gun with him? Everyone else on that planet seems to have a gun with them. What? Well, why doesn't he have a gun? And yeah, the Romulan sister questions her brother, and yeah, it's obvious there's incest going on there. And yeah, why was Soji sent to the cube? Getting a bit ahead of here. Getting a bit ahead. But she was sent to investigate the... The AI band. So why is she on the cube? And yeah, I wrote down, yeah, Romulan Warbird. Probably unused STD asset. You know... STD... I wouldn't be surprised if there were some scripts out there where the Romulans did show their fucking faces. I wouldn't be surprised, and I wouldn't be surprised that that asset is a leftover. And not just some original thing, but the it looks good. And yeah, why does, uh, why, why is Seven of Nine, why is Seven of Nine here? Why, why does Seven of Nine go to Planet Basti? Not really, uh... Was she tracking the Warbird? If so... If so, why? I also wrote, also wrote down Rio's ship just shears the Warbird's nacelle off. Yeah, okay. This is a Romulan Warbird, still functional, looks brand new, still functional, still has its weapon systems, and you get Rios is flying, is what he's flying is equivalent to a runabout. So why is the war, war why is the Warbird, why, why did it, why does it, why did its nacelle just get randomly sheared off? But back to why is Seven of Nine here? Well, uh, wh why is she? Wh why is she in this sector? Was she? Yeah, was she tracking the Warbird? If so, what did she expect to do against the Warbird? She's a, in a small craft that doesn't look like it could fight the war that Warbird. I mean, so she's a. Uh, so she's on a quest for, in a later episode, yeah, she's on a quest for revenge against the, 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 the other chick. So why would it, why would their quest for revenge lead her to planet Vashti? This, this, uh, makes no fucking sense. So yeah, you, you have Seven of Nine literally coming out of nowhere, they're just randomly doing some shit. She's gonna get added to the crew roster, but then she leaves, she'll leave the crew roster, and come back and be, be there at the end. So, why, why is, why is she at Planet Vashti? What is the perp what is her purpose there?
Well, what, 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 um, we're, there's no, we need no fucking context here. Hmm. Which you fucking need. She just shows up randomly out of nowhere. And yeah, this, this episode of Star Trek Picard, yeah. I think, well, yeah. Also, let's also, uh, also, okay. What else? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, this. Poverty on this planet. The Federation has replicators. The Romulans have replicators that they would most obviously bring with them when they're trying to escape because that's important because the replicators are fucking important. So why would there be poverty on this planet? Why at all would there be any poverty? This the Federation is a post-poverty society. Now, yeah, the Romulans there, they did look like they were living relatively well off, but it says that there's poverty here. So, uh, why? How is that even possible? There, there are fucking replicators. There are fucking, re there are fucking replicators. The, the Federation has replicators. The Romulans are going to be bringing replicators with them. So what? Why are they all? Why is everyone on this planet living in poverty? Apparently, they should literally be able to print themselves their own houses, their own mansions. Everyone on this planet, everyone. If you have replicators, everyone should be getting a man, a mansion, a fucking mansion. Screw houses. Everyone should be getting their own fucking mansion, with ev with everything included. Also, this planet's not too, it's a bit more desert-like, so why, why are they, why are they resettled on a desert planet? Why aren't they settled on a planet that's more hospitable? No, I know what you could be saying. Like... I know what you're probably. I know what you're probably saying. You naysayers out there. I know what you're probably saying. I know what you're plan. I know what you're saying. It's like in Star Trek: The Undiscovered Cunt, or not the Undiscovered Country. No, start in Star Trek: The Final Frontier. There is the planet of intergalactic peace that was all terrible and whatnot. Well, yeah, it is terrible. It was a terrible planet. It's on the fringes of trade routes. Replicators aren't the repl replicators aren't a f completely realized technology at this point by the Federation. We don't see them in the original series per, per se, but yeah. It was established that replicators weren't were uh, were a thing mostly for the 24th century that was established that way and what replicators there were were fucking primitive and all that shit and also you read the novel to that book and it's like yeah it's a clusterfuck it was a clusterfuck. You, you read the novelization, it was a clusterfuck there. Because, yeah, you had three people, you had three sides doing three separate things on the planet, and it just wrecked the ecosystem. But yeah, so yeah, there, this is a post, this is, uh, uh, this is just spitting in Gene Roddenberry's face at this point. We we have no optimistic future to look forward to. It's all gonna uh, for for other people. It's just all gonna be fucking poverty, all the fucking time on fucking uh, desert Arabia world, desert lukewarm Arabia world. 
so yeah. This is this is absolutely retarded. So yeah, um, yeah. I'm just gonna end this review here. I'm the Blood Knight of the Old Republic of Blood Ganistan. Like, share, and subscribe. Stay frosty. Stay sexy, San Diego. Get your jewels in one where you can. I'm a spaceman. Peace out.